my channel. Here I have a new guest and her name is Marvelous. Marvish Chineo Kiki. The other day on Instagram, a friend sent me a message and she was like, babes, please can you do something about your skin? Tell me what you use. Tell us what you use on your skin. The, the cream, the soap, how you maintain your skin. And I came up with a topic on skin, how we maintain our skin. Okay, before we start, I'd like to let all of you know that we have different types of skin. There are dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, sensitive skin. Now, those people that have sensitive skin, they are the people that get quick reaction. Whether you're loving cream or makeup, just get pimples and all that all over your body. So you just have to know your skin type before applying any skin treatment. And what what might work for you might not work for me. What exactly. might work for you might not work for me. Exactly. Yeah. So you just need to know your skin type. Okay, on this book here, I actually wrote some points down on on the skin maintenance and I'm going to be reading them out for us to know. And the first point is the type of water we use. And for me I prefer warm water. But so many people out there prefer hot water and is really really harsh. No, it's really harsh. Then, like about two or three years ago, I began to use hot water to it, and I get things like red spot all over my body, and sometimes when I even get darker. It's very harsh on the skin. Yeah, very, water, very harsh. Really harsh. But warm water is nice yeah, because it removes top stains, all those makeup, all those hidden makeup, concealer, and the rest on your face and cream and the rest. It helps wash them off. And then cold water. I, I, I don't think cold water is a good idea because there are some bacteria that are actually living in water. And when you add up little warm water or little hot water, it kills some bacteria. Talking about killing bacteria of we actually use in my house, we use Dito as an antiseptic in water. It really, really, it does it work. It's very good. It kills off germs. I actually get this like three times a year. And it's not that expensive. It's $2,250 and I'd advise every young lady out there to get this. This is super. It's not like every other accepted that are very harsh. Yeah, this is good. It's not harsh. Just a little drop in the water and you're good to go. The second point is soap. And we actually use two different We use two different soap. The first one is Makari and the second one is Yansi. These are the two soap we use. And it's very advisable to bathe morning and night using your soap. You don't just go to the bathroom and just pour it and come out. It's very, very advisable when you go to bed to use soap to bathe morning and night. To me, I just want to talk a little about this soap. It's actually very good. It moisturizes the skin, it keeps it that glittering look. It's it's actually nice when you use this one like day and night. But well, me for me I use um Macari in the morning, it's at night. And I don't have any reason for doing that. I just like it. Personality. Yeah, I just love doing that. Okay. The third point here is a sponge. I'm different I'm a sponge using sponge and beating a sieve or washing um pot back of pot <laughs> <laughs> back of pot or jean trousers. Okay yeah yes, yes so it's, it's jean trousers. your skin don't need all these harsh things. Your skins are very soft. So when you want to use sponge or whatever you want to use make sure you buy soft sponge. Yeah. I think I'll recommend this um blue Sponge, yeah, because it's, they're not really harsh. No, they're not really harsh. Yeah. They're not really harsh. And there are other sponge out there that you can get. So don't think when you're washing your skin like green, you get your skin will be normal or whatever. Instead, you're cutting yourself. So you use soft sponge on your skin. It helps a lot. Okay, the fifth point here is to well how to clean your body. Like so many people out there, you want yeah. to clean your body, they'll be like. How do I would demonstrate it? It'll be like as if the skin actually offended them before. Yeah, yeah, so they want to you are using drying machine to dry their skin. Yes, like which is not really nice on the skin. 
Yeah, and even apart from that, you get to wash your towel. You don't use your towel for one century before washing it. <laughs> you, 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 use, you, you use you use your you you wash your towel like two or three times a week. Yeah. Yeah, because with it's hot water. water. With hot water, yeah. Ditto. Yes. I recommend Ditto. When washing your towel. Yeah. And it's so for it's the, the germs. Yeah, and it's for the skin. So you don't just keep it for one long. And I think I recommend white towel. So you know when it's dirty and when it's clean. Not using black towel. Brown. <laughs> brown. Let me say in the next five models. And so. it's not like we're saying brown or uh, or dark towels are not nice. nice. No. But for you to know when it's, it's dirty, dirty, I think white towel is the best. Yes. Or uh, any other flashy like big color. Oh yellow. Yellow. Yeah. 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 That. And then here on the six point is about cream with leaves. Yeah, that's the fun part. The yeah, <laughs> that's the most important. Everybody wants to know what you are using and all that. Yeah. Everybody just, especially when you are out there with girls, it will be like, please. Oh my god, 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 oh my it always reacts with the sun, yeah. so this is it lightens you actually. It's good for the skin actually, so it's preferable to be used in the night, mm -hmm. especially for all these spotty areas when you have spots in your body. It's very good to use this in the night. Then this, this is actually good for daytime because it has a UV protection. It neutralizes the skin. It blends the skin and it gives it that glitter look. So I think this this one and it's not really expensive. It's, it's three thousand five hundred or four thousand. Yeah, it's not expensive. It's not really expensive. Yeah. But always try to get the original. It's always nice. Yeah, especially for this. For this, try and get the original because if you don't get the original, you won't like yourself. Yeah. Make sure you get the original. You can even ask the manufacturers for it straight from them. I think it's preferable that way than buying from the market because yeah. you won't really know the original. The next point is hairstyle reacting to skin. Okay. I'm a little bit testimony to that. This hairstyle reacting to skin. I made a hairstyle, I made one hairstyle like that, and then after two weeks, I just started seeing some reactions on my face, and I was like, what the hell? What's this? And then I went to the pharmacist, and he was like, this is a reaction. Maybe the hair. Um, my skin is reacting to the hair and if you gave me drugs or my teeth and now I'm fine. So be careful the kind of hairstyle you make because most hair, most of the hair, they always react with the skin. And that takes us back to really the skin type you have. Because if you have a sensitive skin, you don't expect to do all this fringe or yeah, hairs because yeah, it, yeah. Just it just surely reacts. Yeah, yeah. So just know the type of skin you have. Mm -hmm. And even oily skin too, I think oily skin causes and yeah, yeah, yeah. When you make hairs that comes to you, yeah. yes. So just try to know. But it, for me, I like to advise you to always make hair that move back. back. Yes. What is funny hair? Yes. Okay, and we have come to the end of this episode. I would just want to say thank you for watching this video. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe by clicking the button. The subscribe button, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and we always bring up something like this. And it's a moment where we can talk about something. If you have any question concerning anything? Is it your hair, your skin, your makeup? Just you can ask us or you can comment. Thank you very much for watching. I will talk to you guys. Me. Me. We'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye. So you just know have to you just have to know um the one you fall in, the one your skin for you. For the people for the uh people for the sensitive skin. <laughs> Sorry. Now so just try to know the particular skin where you fall in. <laughs> Put down some tips. No, I think I'm doing Okay, here on this book, I wrote down some points and I will be talking about today. And I think one of that is.
not a matter of saying the advisable type of water people are supposed to use. They don't this. use that now. Mm -hmm. Which I no matter for me. We use two different cream. And um, these are the cream we use. These are the cream we use. Do this thing well. 